Hi everybody, Lori here. Thanks so much for joining me. I have a couple of projects to share with you where I did a little more experimentation with the Distress Oxide sprays. This time I used masking and I had so much fun. My first mask is just a simple shape. I used a heart. I even thought about doing a triangle, but you could use lots of different shapes. To create a mask, I die cut it into some acetate. I used the Hero Arts acetate. Anything would work, even just cardstock would work. And these are the Distress Oxide sprays that I used. Of course, I'm kind of like slipping in a rainbow, but I got some Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. I put it in a box to kind of contain my mess, laid down the heart mask. I've got some just like pieces of printer paper around the sides where the mask doesn't cover, and I spray one spritz of spice marmalade. Just one spritz is all it took. I kind of went on a light, like you could spray more if you want to, you know, have more coverage. I'm going to take my acetate off camera. I wiped it down with a wet paper towel. I'm not even sure if you really need to clean it each time. I was just being careful to not get any smudging. So second mask, picked raspberry, one spritz. Now look at this when I lift up the mask. The overlap is what gets me. That's what gets me every time. I clean the mask, lay it down again. I'm kind of going on an uphill line, so to speak. Now I'm doing wilted violet. This time I did two sprays. You know, you just never know. I almost want to have a separate scrap box off to the side to kind of test my spray. It's like when I'm doing ink blending. You know, you want to tap it on the ink, your sponge, and then on the side with some scratch paper, you want to test out your sponge. You get the feel of how much ink is on there. Well, it's the same with the sprays. It's like you never know how much is going to come out, so you want to have a, like a, like a tester spray. But uh, anyway, I am really loving how this is coming out. Now look, this last one, I didn't even clean off my acetate. I left it dirty just to see if it would work, and it did. Last spray is Cracked Pistachio, and bada boom, it's clean, it's simple, it's got the rainbow, but it's got that spray texture to it. Now here's my second um, masking example. This time I did some post-it tape, masking off a couple little angles, really simple. I took another sheet of acetate. This time I'm just gonna mask off straight lines but the lines are gonna overlap, so, so it's gonna be gorgeous. And first spray, Spice Marmalade. Now I wanted to give it a little bit of a gradient look, so I wanted the spray to be a little heavier on the right side. I trimmed the acetate into two pieces so I could mask off a line, and that way the lines could overlap, and then I sprayed Picked Raspberry. So you see when I lift up these, see how that Spice Marmalade and Picked Raspberry overlap? That's the magic. And then now Wilted Violet, and I'm working my way down. And, and as you can see, I'm not measuring anything. I'm totally eyeballing the lines, trying my bestest to stay parallel. You know, I don't want anything to be wonky. And this goes so quick. Last spray with the uh, Cracked Pistachio. This is so easy, and I think I'm addicted. Like, I, you know how I am about ink blending? I think that's what I love about the sprays, is that when you don't go too heavy, you've got that translucency to the color, so you can see the overlap, and um, I'm, I'm in love. Now, for the sentiment for this one, I used one of the Everyday Words on a Line by Simon's Stamp, and I did find a cool little trick to getting this straight, because I struggled with that before. I use a ruler, slid it underneath, kind of butt it up, and press down and that gives you the perfectly straight sentiment. And then to finish it off, I added a few of these Studio Katia Crystal Clear Fusion Sequins and these are gorgeous. They're a little bit iridescent and they go with all the colors. So next panel, foam tape on the back, popping it up onto a white card base. For the sentiment, I use one of the Kathy Zilski's Love You Word Dyes. I love the black and white pop against the colorful stripes more sequins, and these cards are finished. What do you think? I mean, I'm in love, I'm obsessed. I gotta try this on dark cardstock now. That's the next thing I wanna try. See how these Distress Oxides look on dark. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.